Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Captain Nature and in today's video as you can see it's raining. I'm doing a bike trip in the city of Dudelange, uh, more specific in the area of uh, as we call it Butcherbirsch in German uh, Badersberg. And uh, yeah, before we start let me quick explain you a few history facts about that place. So let's start. So guys, today I'm in the city of Dudelange, um, more precisely in the area of what is called in German Budersberg or in Luxembourgish Butcherbirsch. It's a part of uh, Dudelange. So I wanted to explain you guys a brief story about the place I will be visiting uh, in a few moments. So you can see already there it's the Johannesberg, Johannesburg. Um, but uh, let me just start with the city a uh, brief history. So apparently they lived just in the medieval uh, ages. There were just farmers there and the population was at 250 people plus minus and uh, yeah that changed dramatically during industrialization when in the mid 1800s uh, everything started so the city was growing and more people lived there and uh, let's continue with the Johannesburg uh, it's um, during excavation works they, they found the relics of uh, Celtic and Roman um, period so the place was already visited 2000 years ago and also uh, there is the remains of an old castle that was built in the early 1400s and it was a couple of times destroyed by battle and also rebuilt but in the 1600s i guess it was again destroyed and well never never rebuilt and also you have a forest in the graveyard no, uh, excuse me, It's uh, you have a graveyard in the forest and what else do you have? Well, a chapel, a chapel and it's also a place that back in the time, in the medieval times, was visited a lot because it's a religious place, uh, a Christian religious place and there was uh, the power point of the Christian order that was called in German Johannes Orden, which was an order that was very wealthy and had a lot of power so until the late 1700s the place was well visited by a lot of uh, people and uh, today it's a place a spot that i wanted to show you guys so enough said let's start our today's video
So here I am on the way to the old ruins of the castle and here you can see a crossway a cross which indicates that it was back in the time a very religious place. Here you can see the chapel. Um, yeah, so this whole place, as I said, is very medieval. And as you can see here, here is the chapel. It seems uh, beautiful, but unfortunately, works are going on. So I'm, I wasn't able to enter and to take a closer look. But nevertheless. Okay guys, so this is going to be interesting because I'm afraid of fights, but I want to give you guys the view over the castle. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, so I've tried, I did the steps, I, I tried to continue, uh, which here I'm glad that you can see already the remains of the, the castle and also on the other side the chapel and then I tried to, yeah, climb a bit more but then suddenly and unfortunately uh, fear has striked so I decided to go uh, back down because yeah it's very high and, and the steps were also a bit slippery so I had to climb back down. And yeah, here we are. So, this castle, as I said, dates back to the 1400s. It was built by the lords of Gimnish. And yeah, in the medieval periods, um, a lot of people, there, there was uh, a lot of combats during the day. So, the entire castle was destroyed and rebuilt, but then at one moment uh, when it was destroyed, they decided not to rebuild it anymore. So yeah, here you can see the ruins. So this seems to be an old uh, church, which is completely destroyed. And here you can see an overview. So, yeah, that's pretty amazing place. So, and here's one of the wells. And as I looked down, it, it's going very, very deep down. It's, uh, it's amazing. And so I continued. And one thing I noticed about the place, it's uh, very beautiful and silent. It's a very mythical place, but I, I really enjoyed it to, to look the, the what's left of the, the castle. As you can see here, it's in the middle of the nature. And yeah, so you can get an idea there's still structures and everything so you can get an idea of, of what I saw yeah and here's another well and the same with the other one it's going very very deep down yeah and here you can see different structures 
different buildings and um, yeah it was raining but that made the whole scenery very much medieval there was uh, a bit of fog uh, it was cold and wet and yeah quite awesome so here i was in a room i don't know what it was back in the day so yeah here I turn around you can see the steps very beautiful scenery and we're coming closer to the end so it's um, at the end it's an amazing place to visit so you can read also uh, the history of the castle and you can yeah check it out it's it's quite amazing quite amazing and as I said it's in the middle of the forest so very beautiful Okay guys, uh, unfortunately I had to teleport back because it was raining much too heavily so I didn't got the chance to show you guys the uh, graveyard in the forest but um, nevertheless uh, I had a lot of fun it was a great adventure um, also showing you guys the uh, ruins of the old castle it was very amazing and also the mood with uh, the raindrops and the quietness of the forest it was it was very amazing so as always I hope you guys liked the video if you did please leave a like also a comment and I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel um, so until next time, signing off, Captain Nature. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot I have to teleport back um, again. But the problem is, uh, unlike uh, last time, I'm not able to teleport back to the Enterprise uh, because, uh, well, Scotty has a technical issue. So this time I have to use the Stargate in order to go to a different world, so see you next time. <laughs>